Deposits and settlement of solid substances contained in wastewater, such as fibers, sand and gravel, must be prevented in pipelines. In our model test called Transport of Solids, we will investigate and demonstrate the behavior of different solids in a pipeline at various flow velocities. The model essentially consists of a horizontal and vertical pipe riser section. A pump positioned in a water tank at the rear of the model circulates the water around the test setup. Downstream of the test setup, the water is returned into the same tank. Solids which have been transported out of the pipework are collected in a metal basket, also positioned within the same tank. Measuring equipment and gate valves for setting the flow velocity complete the setup. Various solids typically found in wastewater are fed into the horizontal pipe via a filler pipe. We will use solids representing a range of densities, sizes and surface structures such as stones, parts made of metal and pieces of broken glass. By opening the valve on the discharge side of the pump, the flow velocity is increased until the water transports the solids through the horizontal and later the vertical pipe riser section. In the first part of the test, we will investigate the behavior of pieces of broken glass at a range of flow velocities. The pieces of broken glass are fed into the pipeline through the filler pipe. They come to rest directly underneath the filler pipe. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the discharge side. At a low flow velocity, the solids do not move. We will keep opening the discharge side gate valve continuously to increase the flow velocity. At approximately 0.4 meters per second, the glass pieces start to move. At approximately 0.5 meters per second, the glass pieces move along the horizontal pipe but come to rest in the bend at the base of the vertical pipe riser. At about 0.7 meters per second, the glass pieces start moving upwards in the vertical pipe riser. They are transported out of the pipeline. In the second part of the test, we will investigate the behavior of round, smooth stones at a range of flow velocities. The round stones are fed into the pipeline through the filler pipe. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the discharge side. At a low flow velocity, the solids do not move. We will keep opening the discharge side gate valve continuously to increase the flow velocity. At approximately 0.4 meters per second, the stones start to move slightly. At approximately 0.45 meters per second, the stones move along the horizontal pipe but come to rest in the bend at the base of the vertical pipe riser. At approximately 0.6 meters per second, some of the stones start moving upwards in the vertical pipe riser. At approximately 0.8 meters per second, all of the stones are transported out of the pipeline via the vertical pipe riser. In the third part of the test, we will investigate the behavior of stones with rough contours and surfaces at a range of flow velocities. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the discharge side. At a low flow velocity, the solids do not move. We will keep opening the discharge side gate valve continuously to increase the flow velocity. At approximately 0.45 meters per second, the first stones start to move. At approximately 0.5 meters per second, the stones move along the horizontal pipe but come to rest in the bend at the base of the vertical pipe riser. At approximately 0.8 meters per second, some of the rough stones start moving upwards in the vertical pipe riser. They are transported out of the pipeline via the vertical pipe riser. In the fourth part of the test, we will investigate the behavior of small parts made of steel, such as nuts and bolts, at a range of flow velocities. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the discharge side. At a low flow velocity, the solids do not move. We will keep opening the discharge side gate valve continuously to increase the flow velocity. At approximately 0.6 meters per second, the first parts start to move. 
At approximately 0.9 meters per second, the parts move along the horizontal pipe but come to rest in the bend at the base of the vertical pipe riser. At about 1.2 meters per second, the first parts start moving upwards in the vertical pipe riser. At about 1.7 meters per second, all of the remaining nuts are transported out of the pipeline via the vertical pipe riser. In the fifth part of the test, we will investigate the behavior of a mix of solids at a range of flow velocities. The solids are made up of stones, broken pieces of glass, and parts made of metal. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the discharge side. At a low flow velocity, the solids do not move. We will keep opening the discharge side gate valve continuously to increase the flow velocity. At approximately 0.4 meters per second, the first solids start to move. Glass and stones are separated from the mix. At approximately 0.45 meters per second, the glass pieces and stones move along the horizontal pipe but come to rest in the bend at the base of the vertical pipe riser. At about 0.55 meters per second, some of the glass is already transported out of the vertical pipe riser. At about 0.7 meters per second, all stones start moving up the vertical pipe riser. At about 1.7 meters per second, all of the remaining nuts and bolts are transported out of the pipeline via the vertical pipe riser. The speed with which a particle settles depends on its size, shape and density, among other factors. Coarse gravel that is almost spherical in shape will settle much faster than fine sand or organic fibers, for example. The minimum flow velocities to be observed depend on the cross-section of the pipe and on whether the pipe is vertical or horizontal. The flow velocities required for transporting solids in vertical pipe risers are higher than those required for horizontal pipes, 